Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Camille and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about six ways to help calm you during your period. Do you want to release pain and stay comfortable? Well, if you do, make sure you keep watching this video. But before we get inside this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when I upload my videos. And without further ado, let's get to it. So the first one is take an over-the-counter painkiller to help with the cramp. Now, I ain't telling y'all, like, you know, you have to do it. Because, like, if you want to make sure what type of things that you need for your own body, because people have their, you know, people have different type of bodies, so I advise you to go to a doctor and ask what kind do you need, especially if like some little viewers, little kids watching this, make sure you ask your parents before you just go inside the cabinet and just take something and think that it's cool, because it's not. So either aspirin or ibuprofen are both helpful in the aid of period cramps. Take the recommended dose for your age every eight hours until your cramps have stopped. Painkillers can also help with headaches and muscle aches that happen during your period. Number one is if you are under 16 years old, take children aspirin. Midol is a painkiller made specifically for period pain. And um, I advise you not to use a lot of like you know the the pills but just make sure you stay hydrated and make sure you get enough sleep and um because you don't just want to uh, put all your faith on some medicine that other people have made but first try out some um natural things like some tea some um you know like go down on your snacks and see if that will work first before you start using medicines and stuff so yeah next thing is number two use heating pad on your abdomen or your stomach basically to leave cramps um but if you have a like a plug-in electrode thing Plug in an electric heating pad or fill a rubber heating pad with hot water. Place the heating pad over your lower stomach and or on your back to help with cramps. Leave it there until your cramps feel better. And here's a tip is if you have trouble falling asleep during your period, use a heating pad at night to help you relax. So make sure you like if you like going like just in just Remember, if you like want to go swimming and the water is really cold, so you might want to prepare after you get out the pool because it's cold water and cold water will whoop, it can worsen your period. But just make sure you prepare because you don't want to be in there and have fun and be like, dang, why are my periods all my period cramps are worse? Like, oh Jesus, more work. Anyway, um, tip number three. Take a warm bath or shower to help your pain. Now, either some people, I don't know who would like to do this, but it's different for people in this world, but people like to say either cold showers or the same steaming showers. But take a lukewarm shower or just a warm shower or bath. Um, just a, like a heating pad. Now, warm water can help to relieve cramps and aid in relaxation. Focus the shower. Focus the, the shower spray on your lower stomach and back to make sure your torso is fully submerged in a bath. Stay in the hot water until your period cramps feel better. And you don't have to just do this just to get rid of your cramps. You could just do it to relax your mind, to get it off of it, and just help calm yourself. Because when you're in your period, you feel so tense. Like a cat, like after a cat just had a birth and they just, just scratching you and stuff, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So I advise you 
to um, just use a warm bath or shower and, you know, get some candles, get a book, soak, put, your, put a towel behind your head, rest, um, and just don't think worse of it. Okay, number four is manage your stress to stay relaxed like um listening to music so i advise you to listen to hopeful spiritual music and i oh girl bring that booty back yeah 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 something like that <laughs> you don't want that you don't want that so listen to something positive to relax your mind and take the demons off your spirit because you know you want to cluck somebody head because you have these cramps like sis get out my Face, so nobody wants to listen to all that, please. So, if you're stressed through your period, your symptoms could ramp up and even get worse. Do some relaxing exercises like meditation, yoga, or a long walk, or try taking some deep, deep breathing exercises. And um, I guarantee you, you will start feeling better. Like I said, listen to positive things only. Don't be scrolling on Instagram because you know Instagram be having the crazy, just just be doing so much. Like, don't nobody want to see their head get split open. Don't nobody want to see none of that. Everybody wants to see positive things, or mostly people want to see positive things. And um, I just advise you to listen to some gospel, spiritual music. You know, get your holy, your holy in. You know what I'm saying? And um. Yeah. Another tip is for manage your stress to stay relaxed is stress relief is different from everyone. Find an uh, activity that you know will relax you to help during your period. So if you like knitting, if you want to get your mind off things, some people like to eat, some people like to watch something on Netflix to get their mind off of it, you know what I'm saying? Some people like to write, some people like to write songs, listen, you know, like I said, listen to music. People have different ways, so find something that will release your stress. That is safe, that is safe, and um, that no one can be harmed. So, yeah. Number five is do some light exercises to relieve your pain. Um, it may seem like stressful and like you be like sis. <laughs> I'm on my period. I don't want to do that. Like <laughs> you really think I want to do that? No. <laughs> but exercises like like cycling, swimming, or walking can help take your mind off your period pain and relieve pain. But when you focus on something, or like you sprain your wrist, or you have a, a pimple on your cheek that hurts so bad, but you find you you do something and then you be like, oh, I forgot I had this. And then when you finally pay attention to it, it start hurting again. So you just gotta find something that will like that will get your mind off of it, like your period cramps. Like just find something. Just find something. Um. Uh, if you do consider like. Exercising is fun and helpful. You don't have to do that much. Just, you know, just get up and walk around. Walk upstairs at least five times and walk around the house, walk around the block, jog a little bit, um, you know, do a little sit-ups um, and stuff like that. Just, just get physical, you know what I'm saying? And get up and move around because the longer you sit on your butt the more your body thinks you're getting old so you gotta move around a lot because if you're just 12 and you sitting down and you get up and tell me your back hurts this no 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 get up move around even if you're not on your period still do that get up move around so you get used to it so when you do get on your period you'll be like oh man I, can, I, I love to walk around. I've been doing this for a whole, my whole life, my whole time. I got this. So, yeah. Um, number six, which is the final one, 
is wear comfortable dark clothing when you go out or stay in. Um, if you have school or work, when you are in a period, consider ditching the skinny jeans and opting for sweatpants and loose fitting jeans that aren't snug around your waist. Because, sis, I know you want to be looking bad. You go into school, you see your, you see that little, your little crush, like, ah! these jeans Carl <laughs> but now even if you even if you you know your somebody there that you want to entertain and stuff you and you on your period you be like ah well <sighs> it is what it is I'm on my period I don't got time for it I don't care if nobody don't like me just keep that to yourself okay but I would suggest wearing dark sweatpants and big t-shirts because if you're wearing tight things, that can cause a very bad smell and just, just uncomfortableness. And then a pad, it's like it crumbles up under your your cootie area, and then it gets uncomfortable. And then you have to wiggle, you know, try to get it, try to not make it noticeable, but you're still trying to get it <laughs> from out of there. You know, you, you know, if you know, you know. But basically, is I advise you to wear something comfortable and wear them pretty things till like after you come off your period, and um, just please do that. But here is some three tips that I found that people like literally think the same as me. Like wear something comfortable. So keep a jacket to tie around your waist in case of leaks. Definitely, like bring an extra jacket or something, a jacket that you barely care about. And um, when you have a leak and you're almost at school, but you're almost out of school and you have to wait in line for the buses to roll up, just wrap it around your waist. And um, yeah, tip number two is wearing dark colored pants can help avoid the embarrassment of a leak showing through your jeans. So that is a smart one. So just in case if you do go to school and you don't remember or you forgot when you're coming on and you come in at school, before, just, I don't care if you say, I don't come on my period till, till another week. You will never know when that period will creep up on you. So you want to know what you need to do is just get a, 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 some sweatpants or some um, dark leggings or whatever you like to wear that is dark and comfortable. Make sure you wrap that up and put it inside your book bag and just be prepared. I'm telling you, I know that you think you be knowing, but sometimes it changes and you don't want to be embarrassed. You don't. So just please listen to what I say and just follow it because I had some problems like that, and it was the worst. So I advise if you if you never had it, and you start you started your period, just follow it and just do as I say. <laughs> um, number three is a boy wearing white pants or shorts while you're on your period. A leak is much more likely to show up on white colored bottoms. I mean, it's like wearing a white tank top in chocolate ice cream. Come on. Come on. We all know. No matter how, no matter how clean or how careful you are, it's still be ending up though, still be ending up on it. Like, I had a napkin on and it still got on my shirt. Like, just, just don't, don't wear no white. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's just me. I would never wear. I never wore white shorts in my life, and I would never wear it. I'm sorry. I only wear it if I'm like going swimming. I have to put some over my um, area just in case. But I'm not gonna wear that. Just with pant with leak through panties and think I'm good. Nah. But if you do, just make sure. You have backups, or just make sure you have something to back you up just in case you come on your period. So, 
I hope these six ways to help you calm your period tip helps you. And please, if you see this, please follow them. Please, please, please follow them. And you will be living through your period like it's nothing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up um comment down below how did you think what more videos should i do and yeah i hope you guys have a blessed day Mwah.